Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and today I'm finally getting a chance to sit down and share with you guys the newest kit and release from By the Well for God. So I have Worthy of the Gospel here. I also have all the extra goodies off to the side. Uh, I did check at the time of filming this, it is still available in the shop, so I'll have everything linked down below for you. I do believe this is probably going to be one of those ones that they keep restocked, or I hope that they keep restocked because I think this is a good foundational devotional study uh, for anybody and everybody to jump into, um, whether you are used to Bible journaling, new to Bible journaling, you know, new Christian, old Christian, I think this is going to be perfect for all of you guys. So let's dive in and take a look at everything that comes in the kit and all the extras. So when you order from By the Wolf for God, if you've never done so before, you should because they are super generous and give you all kinds of extra little freebie goodies. So with your thank you card, your thank you card gives you information about the devotional kit, also gives you all the resources you need to find by the will for God online over on Instagram. They have a Facebook group. They have an email list. And then the hashtag for the kit this month, uh, hashtag BTW4G underscore worthy. Uh, so that way you can search the hashtag and see how others are creating or you, when you're posting your creations, use that hashtag. That way we can connect and share with each other. So there's a thank you card. And then on the back of the thank you card, is a little sneak peek into next month's kit. So it'll give you some information about what's releasing late August. And it kind of gives you um, a little bit of a peek into the graphics. It's going to be true north. Uh, I've already kind of talked back and forth with Lori from By the Will for God. And she said this is going to be another super, super good, like foundational uh, devotional study. So I'm excited for that one. And then these are just extra freebies that they stick into your order. So even when you're not ordering the kit, if you're just ordering other, you know, goodies that they have in their shop. They're always sticking fun little extras in there. So depending on how much you spend, the more you spend, the more you get in your freebie packs. So um, at the top of the spending tier, I think it's $37.50 is what you need to spend before shipping. You get everything that you see here. Um, if you purchase anything under the $37.50, then you don't get the little mini stamp set. This little mini stamp is super cute. It's supposed to be like a little text conversation. Uh, and then they they do this stamp and then once they run out of the stamp, they substitute another stamp. So you're not necessarily guaranteed this particular stamp, but it just gives you an idea of some of the stamps they're using this month. You also get another little verse card. There is one included in the kit, but you get an extra verse card here with some extra little bow clippies. Uh, if you are not somebody who sticks bows, you know, on top of your Bible, you can take these apart and use the fabric in your entries themselves. That's something that I have done as well. You also get a couple sheets of clear stickers. These are super fun. So they are words. I imagine they're going to be words that go along with the devotional study uh, in uh, Christina's hand lettering. I'll talk about Christina here in a second. And they've got these little color swatches behind them. So you could mix and match these to do your journaling as you work through the kit. So those are just a freebie that you get. And then you also get this set of tile alphas that coordinates with the kit. So that's just all the extra freebie stuff that you get. So let's dive in and take a look at everything that comes in the kit. I've already gone ahead and taken out the die cuts and was photographing them and all that goodness. But those do come everything included in this nice little drawstring bag. So if you are on the go or if you don't have a designated craft space like I do, um, this allows you to stick everything into your little baggie and then it's all together and you can take it on the go and work on your study um, throughout the month. So let's talk about devotional content. So this month's kit, Worthy of the Gospel, was written and illustrated by Christina from Christina's Alive. I will have her Instagram down below. I have followed her for years, probably back from when I first started Bible journaling. Uh, she is an amazing artist, an amazing mama. She is a plant mama. She's all about her plants and just she's what you would envision as just the Proverbs 31 woman. She's, you know, canning and gardening and raising her kiddos. And it's just very, very impressive. But more than that is her heart for God and her heart for Jesus. And she is going to share that with us um, in the devotional content this month. So we are talking about the gospel. So she says in the book of Philippians, the apostle Paul writing from prison instructs the church to live a life worthy of the gospel. But what does that mean? If the good news of the gospel isn't based on our worthiness, but on Christ's perfect sacrifice and infinite worth, how can we be or live in a manner worthy of it? The answer is found right there in that sentence. We can live worthy of the gospel through Christ. We will spend this study exploring what it means to live in such a manner. We will dive into the gospel and what it means to love the Lord our God and what it means to love our neighbor both in and outside of the church. 
We will search the scriptures covering the Great Commission and find out what it means to live a life of holiness and why we're called to it. Finally, we'll search ourselves honestly and prayerfully to determine how we can honor Christ most fully with what we've been given. And so she is going to take us through a 14-day devotional study. So it's set up very similar to past devotionals that we've seen from By the Well for God. The reason that they do this is kind of set you up for a whole month of Bible journaling if that's how you want to tackle it. So you can do one day going through the devotional day and then, um, you know, looking up the scriptures, doing your studying, your note taking, and then the next day work on your art worship response to it. And that will take you through a full 28 days. But if you're like me, I just jam pack it in anywhere I can. If you guys are wondering, um, I am still working on the Psalms devotional from last month. I will be popping in and doing those process videos as well. Uh, I have not been feeling so great this month, so I did not get a chance to finish it, but I will be finishing it up. So we're going to be doing both these kits this month. So what she has here is just her devotional. You're going to see tons and tons and tons of scripture. And then there's usually some sort of response. So uh, a question or, um, you know, a prompt to interact with the uh, verses and fill in the blank places, just a variety of different ways to get you to engage with that devotional topic for that day. And as you can see, I mean, it is just jam packed full of scripture. And this is something I find so important. I love Bible journaling. I love the connection that it gives me with my Bible. It excites me to get in my Bible. But the most important part for me of Bible journaling is the actual study is understanding what God's word says, why he's saying it, who he's saying it to, all those details are so important. And the Bible journaling is just, you know, an add-on part of that. It's just something to help you get through that process. So when it comes to picking these kits, I really want something that is heavy in scripture, is giving you meat, because that's what's important. We love all the pretty, we love all the fun, but to me, this is the most important part of it. Um, and that's what kind of sets us up and gives us the tools to get through life. I mean, I don't know about you guys, this year is kind of crazy. And um, the only place that we're going to find peace and find all the things that we need to get through crazy seasons like a lot of us are finding ourselves is within God's word. And we need to know how to read it. We need to know how to study it. And so uh, as we talk about the gospel, this is something that's been very heavy on my heart the last couple of months. I watched the American gospel documentary. I've been talking about it nonstop. I will link it down below for you guys. It is a must see. I would say pair that documentary with this kit gives you a good foundation to head out there. Um, and so, it, you know, as I was talking about that documentary and, you know, looking into it and understanding what the true gospel is and finding a church that is preaching the true gospel and the entire gospel is super important. And so that would pair, pair very well with this kit. So all of that, let's dive into the fun part. Uh, so let's start with the stamp set because the stamp set is a little bit different this month. It is still the four by six, um, but they chose to do this uh, scripture. And so it's Philippians 127. And then they've gone ahead and bold typed worthy of the gospel. So you could use this just as it is and stamp it down and get a nice clean impression. But you could also use this as a background stamp to do like a texture. Uh, you could go and take a craft knife and cut this apart if you wanted to and cut out the individual words. And then you could kind of piece together and make phrases if you wanted to. So a lot of different ways that you can use this. I'm excited to use this as a texture background and have that theme of Philippians 127 all throughout the month as I work through the devotional. So there's going to be the stamp set that comes in the kit this month. We've got the kit sticker. Uh, so I like to keep these. Um, I usually use them on a separate notebook. If I'm going to be journaling alongside um, answering the questions in one of the empty traveler's notebooks, I usually stick it on here to indicate that. I'm actually going to be creating in a mixed media journal, very similar to what I did last month for the Psalms. Um, and so I'll probably use this on the front of that. But you could put it in the front of your Bible to indicate which um, devotional studies are in that Bible or just use it for one of your entries. All right, next up we have the flare buttons. These are always a fun element and very different. We don't see these in other devotional kits. So you've got this one here that says worthy, this one here that says love one another. And just remember, Christina uh, did all of the illustration for the kit this month. She is so talented, um, both digitally and with acrylic paints and other mediums like that. She just has a lot of artistic talent. So she, I mean, the amount of heart and love and time that went into designing this kit is just amazing. But so you've got these pins, they can go on the top of your bow clippies. Uh, uh, you could stick them on the front of a Bible cover, book bags, you know, something like that. Pass them along to your kiddos to use, but they are a pin. So just keep in mind that they are pokey. So you do get two of those. Next up, we have the kit, um, 
scripture cards. So you've got the title of the kit, and then on the back side is the key, one of the key verses from the kit, which of course is Philippians 127. And attached to here, you have two little fabric clips. Again, you can take these apart, tie them into different types of bows. They are uh, double layer, so you could pull them apart and have double the bows if you wanted to, use them for texture and an entry. So lots of different things that you can do with the fabric clips. They don't just have to stay just like this. Don't be afraid to take them apart. All right, and then we've got our three journaling cards. And so you've got some titles on the front. These are pulled from the devotional content. So with all your heart, the great commission, um, the great commandment. And then on the back side, you've got some space to journal. And I love the attention to detail. So it's printed both on the front and the back. And so you've got some space to do some more hidden journaling. If you wanted to do like a tip in um, or create a little pocket that you could slide them into, or even if you wanted to do a little mini book, use some of the pattern papers and create a little book and write down, you know, write out all the verses or something like that. So a variety of different ways that you could use those journaling cards, but you do get three of those. Next up is the watercolor swatch card. This is super unique to the By the Will for God kits. I don't see this in any other kits. I think somebody mentioned maybe a kit overseas does something similar, but here in the States, um, this is the only one that does that. Um, and speaking of the States, everything uh, that By the Will for God uh, uses within their kits as far as the creation and production happens here in the United States. I know that's something that's, you know, a lot of people are starting to pay more attention to um, and are wanting to buy products that are made right here in the States and their kits are entirely made right here um, in the U.S., which is amazing. So the watercolor swatch card gives you samples of Daniel Smith artist grade watercolors. Um, so this month we are getting seven different colors. I did kind of swatch them out. I think that mine was a miss. Uh, a miss one because it's, it's supposed to be burnt yellow ochre, but I think this is the Sedona Genuine done twice, but that's okay. That color is super pretty. I will totally use it, <laughs> but you do get uh, seven colors on that swatch card. And so you can just use a wet paintbrush to activate the paint. And then you've got plenty of paint here to um, create and use as you work through the kit. Next, we have the clear stickers. So you get uh, three sheets of stickers. Again, this is all Christina's artwork. The top uh, images here aren't actually made into a sticker. Is it going to make me a liar? No, it's not a sticker, but I have um, fussy cut these out and actually used these as well. So don't, you know, don't waste anything. You get a sheet of florals. So, so pretty these fun girls with their masks and you've got a variety of girls. So whether you're wanting to use one that you identify with or maybe a friend, somebody you're praying over, you sh should be able to find somebody in those girls. And then you've got some titles, Tame Your Tongue, Quick to Listen, Speak Life, and some little hearts there. And then some more words. So of the gospel, love one another, humble, worthy, delight, and hidden in Christ. And just remember, when you order these kits, you do also get an email with the digital files for the graphics. So um, that gives you more graphics that you can print out and print on whatever medium that you want. So don't don't hoard your stuff. Use it up because you can always print them again um, with those digital files for personal use. And then later on in the month, they do also release a set of digital papers that cor coordinate with the kit that you can purchase to go along with it. So that does come out later on in the month. Next up, we have the alphabet stickers, and this is fun, um, like bunches of apples scaled way down in these letters here. You have several of each letter, lots of punctuation, um, little hearts, um, and plenty of those. It is white sticker paper. I love that they have gone, maybe a year or so ago, they switched from like thicker, um, almost cardstock material to these thinner st stickers. And I like these because when you're writing on the back of the page, it's not as bumpy as when you're using a really thick cardstock sticker. So I like these thinner uh, white stickers. And then last but not least, you have the uh, ephemera pieces. Again, this is all Christina's artwork. Just so beautiful. Um, one of the gals on the team, I will try to link it if she saved it on her Instagram, had done a tutorial for how to uh, adjust and manipulate the graphics from the kit in Silhouette Studio. So if she still has that save, I'll try to link it down below. Um, I have a couple of videos on my channel as well showing you tips for using Silhouette Studio. That is a free program that goes along with the Silhouette cutting machine. But you can use the program to drag your digital files in there and manipulate them. So scale them you know, to different sizes, cut parts off. Um, you can rotate and flip things around. Um, and so it's really nice for you know getting more use out of your digital files. But 
Here you've got lots of different little fruit pieces. Again, these are all done by Christina. I love these lemons. These are very popular in several of the summer um, like scrapbooking lines. I know Heidi Swap had a line that had some lemons in it. So you could even pull some of those supplies out and kind of mix and match with this kit. We have these really adorable floral tabs. You've got some arrow, arrows and flowers, um, some phrases, and then these fun little journaling spots. How cute are these to write little prayers, maybe write a little verse address um, or a simple statement, something like that. These are so, so pretty. Ugh, I love her artwork. Okay, so there is everything that comes in the Worthy of the Gospel devotional kit. Again, I'll have that linked down below. That is an affiliate link, so just heads up. But there is plenty of other things to coordinate with the kit this month. Uh, By the Well for God always offers so many options for add-ons. Um, and they also carry other scrapbooking products, other artsy products. So if you're looking for paints or adhesives or papers, sticker papers, um, they carry all that kind of stuff. So definitely take a look around the shop. Okay, so first up we have the Traveler's Notebook insert. So it does come in a two pack. And these are created out of the same paper that the devotionals are created out of. Uh, and so you've got this like pink and yellow apple print and then a black and white polka dot on the inside and then this really beautiful floral paper with a splatter on the inside. And so these are great if you want to work alongside the devotional to answer out your questions, maybe journal some prayers, maybe even just writing out the scripture. I find scripture writing to be a huge help for me as far as memorization and just studying it. And so maybe you just wanna go through and just write out all of the verses. I actually think that I might do that this month. Um, just have them all in one place, all written out and all together. And then you can kind of see how they connect together um, and just study it in a different way. So there is that two pack there. Next up, we have the six by six paper pack. So this comes with 24 double-sided papers. You get three of each pattern. They are gorgeous this month. So you've got this floral paper and then it's double-sided. The backside is that really fun vintage gingham. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun doing some ink blending with distress inks to really distress and grunge up um, these papers. I think they're so pretty. You've got this, I think it's supposed to be a mango actually. This one's a mango and then I think there's a lemon also. There's that gingham really pretty apple print with a stripe on the back. We've got bunches of apples, with some apples on the back. And there's just so many different prints in here and you get a lot of extra having the front and back. I do have a tip Tuesday showing all the different ways that I like to use or many of the different ways I like to use pattern papers in my Bible journaling. Um, Cause I do get a lot of questions about that, you know, Typically, these are for paper crafters, scrap, you know, scrapbooking, um, but there are ways to use these in your Bible journaling. So I'll link that tip Tuesday down below and you guys can check that out. So there are the papers and you can see close up photos of all of those over on my blog post that will be linked down below for you guys. Next up, we have these spiritual prescription cards. So I think this is the third month that they've done these and these are so cute. So it's just like a prescription pad, but at the bottom, normally where you would have this, the doctor's signature and the date, you've got the verse and the date. You've got Jesus, our healer, right hand of God, throne room. And then they switched out. I think it was a little dove the last couple of months. And then this month we've got these apples. So you get three of each color and they're printed on just regular, um, like, well, it's like a thin cardstock, but the print looks like it has watercolor texture. There's just so much detail in the graphics that they do. I love it. Okay, so there are the spiritual prescription journaling cards. Backside um, is just color printed. There's no lines or anything on the backside of the cards. Next up, we have the alphabet stickers. So you have two different options. You have the tile alphas. You get five of these in the colors that coordinate with the kit. I will have color swatches over on my blog post. So Neo Color 2 crayons, gelatos, distress inks, all those. If you're wondering what I've color matched, um, you can head on over there and check that out um, on my blog. And then you've got the clear stickers. So you get seven sheets of these, again, in colors, and there's usually a pattern thrown in that coordinates. I love the soft tones. These are my jam, these like softer, kind of earthier, um, muted colors. I love them. So there are those. So these are the same font as the font that comes in the stickers in the kit, um, but these are on clear sticker paper. So they're on just a different material. 
Okay, next up we have a stencil. I love that By the Wolf for God is doing stencils the last couple months, and this one is gorgeous. Many of you saw the sneak peek uh, a few weeks ago and were DMing me and asking me if this was going to be the stencil, and I wasn't sure, and I was super excited to see that it was. Um, and so this has like a floral pattern in the corners and then a honeycomb through the center. It's so, so pretty. Uh, I have a Tip Tuesday all about stencils. If you're wondering what different products that you can put through there, um, tips and tricks for getting good results, you can check that out. One thing I really love about the By the Well for God stencils, um, I typically like a hefty, heavy, thick stencil when I'm working outside of my Bible. But if I'm working in my Bible, I actually prefer them to be thin because the Bible does have a little bit of a curvature to the book. And so this way you can kind of mold the stencil to the page and you get better results. So when it comes to Bible journaling, I love that these are on a thinner material. It just works a little bit better in your Bible. Last but not least, we have the stamp release. So there's five new stamps this month. When you order during the pre-sale, which the pre-sale is over now, but if you order during the pre-sale, you can get the stamps added on for a lower price. Depending on how many stamps you add on, um, brings the price down as low as $10 a stamp set. So getting in on the pre-sale is awesome if you are one of those people that loves to stamp and wants to pick up the stamps. Um, but then after the pre-sale, they go into the shop for the regular price. So this month we have uh, Christina's Bubble Alpha. You know, I always recommend a good alpha. These are the stamps that I think that you get the most bang for your buck um, because you can just use over and over and over. I love mixing and matching different fonts. This one was really fun because it's an open font. So you can stamp it in something that's waterproof like Versafine ink, and then you can come back in and color in your letters. You could also stamp these on the pattern paper. So if you pick, you know, a little bit less busy. You wouldn't want to necessarily stamp it on a busy side of the paper, but a less busy side of the paper and then fussy cut them out. And then you've instantly got some dressed up uh, alphas. So you got Christina's Bubble Alpha and then you've got Patterns of Faith 3. So this is the third one in their set of patterns. Um, patterns are great for just adding some fun texture to the background. I love doing tone on tone or maybe you have, you know, a, a bright pink background and then you go and stamp over it in a, a slightly darker pink. It gives you that tone on tone. So these are great for that. Um, I think I also have a like stamp kissing technique. I'll try to find it. It's a much older video. These are great for that technique as well. So I'll try to link that down below for you guys. Next up, we have these ones that are kind of meant to go along with the devotional, but they're standalone as well. You have Blackout Fruit. These are so pretty. These would be great also for card making. If you like to use your supplies outside of your Bible and do some card making or even scrapbooking, these would be great. They're very, very stunning stamped in black, but I think these would also be fun in lighter colors to create kind of a pattern background on your page or something like that. So you've got some uh, different fruits and a little bit of greenery. And then this one here has the word abide. Super, super fun. Love the pomegranate, the avocado, just some different ones on there is really nice. Of course, Christina has to have plants because she is plant mama extreme. I will never be able to have a green thumb like that woman does. So she's got pots of love. Um, you So you've got some different little succulent plants and house plants. Um, I'm learning all about plants so I can actually identify and recognize some of these plants now. Uh, you've got some that, that are hanging down. These would be really cute, kind of clustered. Again, another great set that you can use for card making as well. And then last but not least, you have Love My Neighbor. So all designs done by Christina, love one another, love, I love my neighbor, welcome in, uh, welcome in my heart, love. You know, we're talking all about community right now and joining together and loving each other. And this is a perfect stamp for that. So maybe making some little encouragement notes for a friend or something like that. Um, you've got some little houses and um, just some other embellishments in there as well. So there is a look at all of the new um, supplies over at By the Well for God. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out my blog for more close-up photos of everything, as well as those color swatches. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.